This was brought is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2019. No one garden. Garden Part Four. Or Part Five, sorry. Okay, so I got all the hills set up. A plastic set down on this one. And pictures and get some videos of it. Now gotta take these and dig holes in the beach corner here over there and I usually say two foot but really it's gonna be my height so if it's any taller than me I gotta dig deeper. That's basically how far I'm at it now. And we're two days until August 22nd, which is our last day of uh, uh, frost for spring. So I figured I'd get this finished. Now I got one pull up, and I'll show you the hole that I dug. This is, I just, I don't know for sure if I'm going to get this done, but the time night time comes, so I wanted to at least show what I'm doing here. That is the pole that's already up. I have a hole that's dug out with a pole getting ready to go. Open. This old pole right here, somewhat, somehow I lost my nine inch nail. That's the whole how deep I'm dipping to get the things to stay up. And after I'm done with this, I'll put the plastic over everything and shape it toward the pole isn't a problem. Okay, so here it is. Got all four holes up. The plastic is down in the middle and on the side. We have 27 pounds. Some pictures of it. The hills. Whatever you want to call it. And this is the bottom part. We can get this done, or we can have this ready. Tomorrow I've got to go to my nephew's birthday party.
Okay, this is Easter Sunday, uh, April the 21st, and this is what I've gotten done so far with the trail to the garden. I finally got the plastic on you today, and got everything back up there. That one is still kind of weak, and I ended up replacing that. Print system right there with this one, which is weaker than the other one. Put this in. So I tied it off this way, and this way right here, instead of going across like I did before. Now I'll tie this off, this off, all four corners. Like I did that one. Still using the st uh, string. Got all that back to down. And I did the same over here. And get the pictures. Birthday party for my nephews at 4 o'clock, so I decided that I was going to go ahead and try to see if I can send it this time. Okay, I've gotten this part all the way done on this side. And once I am done with that side, it'll be the same way. Ran out of string, so we're going to have to get some more string. This time, did, did it like this where I ran these through there and then find them with the road. Like that. And I'm going to do the top part of this right here the same way as I did that. I'm going to tie it off corners. Here. Now I'm going to put the cantaloupes in the any watermelons down too. Hopefully this works out. Okay, I was finally able to finish putting string at cantaloupe and watermelon garden. I'm going to down and hooking into these sticks. I'm going to try to do something that I saw on a video on YouTube. I was practicing it last year in my grow bed. I'm going to try it now on the bigger one. So, we've got different kinds of uh, strength now, which is kind of cool. Strong. See how it all works out. These have a little bit of gaps, and I'm going to end up having to freaking put some wood in between them to where to help the cantaloupes grow. But, here's the final. Oops of the garden I get it before picture and then gonna have to I don't kill myself and it was tested out we got 35 mile an hour winds and everything it, it, like I said I put those posts down two foot instead of the way I had them and during the storms we ended up having of, or the limbs from our dead tree come down. It went over the shed, broke over the top, and the other part that is on the other side. That was that.
Okay, this is another flooding. This is the reason why I had to reseed. It's done this about five times. It's table within the middle of the vehicle. This is May. I'm getting ready to write in the middle of the May. This right here is the part of the flood that I had. And this is what the garden looks like. Cantaloupes. We had tornado warnings and stuff. And this uh, truck was actually the other but the winds making trees wave like they were fig trees. And this right here held up all the way. This was brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising and on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2019 Melon Garden Part 5. for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.